Welcome once again to explainingcomputers.com. A few videos back, I upgraded my rendering PC to an i7. And I also told you that I had a cunning plan to replace the 3.5 inch floppy drive with something more modern. Well, today, in this video, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to fit this thing in its place. And this is a dual trailers 2.5 inch SATA rack. And what this allows us to do is to directly plug two and a half inch hard drives or two and a half inch SSDs directly into the front of the PC. Yes, that sounds very handy indeed, doesn't it? So let's go and do a rather exciting unboxing. Right, so uh, here we are. This is a bit closer up, the uh, StarTech two drive trailers hot swap two and a half inch SATA mobile rack. If nothing else, these things need a better name, don't they? But uh, other than that, it looks uh, an exciting thing to unbox. There's a lot more inside it than I thought there would be. If we look down here, he said all sorts of things are in here, not just the rack itself, but we've also got uh, a uh, cable, a wire adapter for power, which looks like a good idea. Hard drive protector film. We'll see what that is. Even instructions in here. Don't know about that. That's a bit scary, isn't it? Having instructions. Anyway, let's open this thing up. And as you might have seen, if you can just about maybe see, it's got some shrink wrap on as well as the normal box. So we first of all need to get rid of the shrink wrap. Don't often get these things shrink wrapped. Obviously, there's something about how much is inside here, maybe. And if we now, oh yes, the box opens nice and easily. And uh, there we are. Look, there is the aforementioned instructions. Um, oh, these are the hard drive protector films. As we might have suspected, this looks like these go on the... Uh, the back of your hard drives, yes, they stick on. So if you're going to stick them and move them in them out a lot, it doesn't damage the drivers. Two of those. Would have liked more, but never mind. Don't need them for SSDs, of course. And oh, here's the thing itself. This looks rather nice. Let's uh, get one out like that. And um, there we are. This is uh, our hot swap mobile rack thing. There we are. And this is... Uh, Oh yes, this, look, this looks rather nice, doesn't it? You've got the front bits there, and presumably you uh, press one of these to, oh yes, and it slides like that, and the drive just goes in there, doesn't it? There's two of these things. Oh, I, I see, they're like a, like a thing. So you just, they slide like that, and to open it up, you uh, slide it down, open up the front of the bay, that's pretty cool. Close them up again, and so you can do that. I'm getting oriented. Here is um, an SSD, and an SSD, you've got to figure out which way up these things go in here, which looks like the SATA thing's on the bottom. So uh, if we, uh, this is by the way, the SSD that uh, was in the, uh, the render box PC last time you saw it. It was in a, in a, in a bracket to mount in a three and a half inch bay. I've since taken it out, so here it is in my hand. And um, presumably we'd do that, and then this would just slot in like that, and it would slot like that, and there we are, that's how it would fit in. That's brilliant, isn't it? So uh, I'm rather impressed with that. And uh, on the, uh, the back of this thing, if we give you a shot there, you can see we've got the uh, connectors, the two SATA connectors, two SATA power connectors. And I'll give you a shot of the front as well. There you are, just in case you want to see that. There we are, that's the front. And um, that's how it opens up like that. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, and it means I can take things like the drives I do a lot of uh, backup and archiving on, like his little box here full of drives, which is a standard uh, two and a half inch drive. And um, I guess we can see now why we have these protector films. It means you would take that, you would mount that on the drive. It would go on something like that. And that means you'd be feeling a lot safer about putting this straight into a, a trailer's bay like this. I suppose we should also see what else was in the box. This is a very a good solid device, this. This is a last Star Trek thing we looked at was made out of plastic. I wasn't very pleased with that, but this is this is all metal. This is a very nice, nice piece of kit there. And um, we'll just have a look at the rest of the stuff in the box, do a proper unboxing, because under here there is, oh, quite a bit. They've given us all sorts of toys here. Uh, we have, oh, two SATA cables, not just one, but two. So it's always good to have some spare SATA cables. There are some screws, of course, to put it together with. And there's, um, this is a standard, uh, oh, that's an adapter cable, isn't it? Which is um, Molex to SATA 
power and this is um, also Molex the SATA power. So in fact, although it said it had a wire adapter on the front, it doesn't, it comes with two of those adapters. But uh, there we are, there's all the parts of the kit. I think it's high time to go and fit this in Maya PC. Right, so here's my Renderbox PC, all ready to have its new rack fitted. The only thing that's changed with this machine since you saw me convert it into an i7 is I've now got an i7 sticker on the front. I managed to get an i7 sticker from eBay to replace the Core 2 quad sticker. So it now even looks like it's got an i7 inside, which it has. Anyway, as you can see, as you may remember, it does have this three and a half inch floppy drive on the front there. So what I need to do is to remove this drive. So I'll uh, remove the screws holding it in case. And uh, there we are, screws removed and chased around the inside of the case. And now we can hopefully take the drive out. There we are, floppy drive is uh, no longer there. Floppy drive has uh, left the building. And uh, with the floppy drive removed, we can go back to our rack. And uh, something radical has happened since I spoke to you about 30 seconds ago. I have actually read the manual and uh, it's told me things I didn't know. Isn't that amazing? If you read the instructions, you learn things. There's a, there's a radical thing I've learned in this video. And the thing I particularly learned is the value of these cables. I assumed these were here just in case you hadn't got enough uh, SATA power connectors, you could use a, use a Molex, but it's not that at all. On the front of this drive, we've got the nice little things you slide to, uh, if I can do one, to uh, open the thing up and it comes back again. But also here is an LED. So Although you can put in your drive and you'd expect it to run a normal computer LEDs, it'll also show activity on activity LEDs there. But to make that work, you have to use the LED power connectors on the end. And that is why you have these cables. These cables mean you power each drive from a Molex and we connect in the SATA power cable, which will go in like that. Let's put the bottom one in first, makes a bit more sense, Chris. That one goes in there. And then you also put in, this is the uh, LED power, which goes in, I think, that way up, down like this. So it would work if you simply connected SATA power and data here without bothering with this cable, but the LED wouldn't work on the front of the unit. So let's put the second one of these in as well, if I can get it right, which goes in here, like that. And the second twiddly what's it thing goes down under there otherwise known as the LED power. So those are all properly connected. And we also must connect in some uh, SATA data, of course. We might as well use the ones provided. Uh, there are ones in the computer, but hey, we'll use these instead. And there we are, that'll go on there. And finally, this will go on here. So this will leave the thing prepared to slot into the computer. So there we are with a load of wires to take through the hole. We can now put this into the PC. So let's do that. And uh, here we go. There's a lot of cables to get through this hole, but uh, they'll go through, won't they? Come on. There'll be a little swine in the back, but they'll, there we are. That's coming through and there and there and there. And hopefully the SATA wires are going to come through. Yeah, that's working okay. Lots of things happening in the background there, but hopefully that will slot in. It's going to look very nice in this case, isn't it? So I'll just now uh, get some screws put in. If I get just in the right place, I think that's about right. So I'll do some screws. And here we are, screws almost complete. You might remember on this case, when you put screws in one side, it's got various clips around the rest, but there we are. I put three screws in there, which should make that nice and solid. And in theory, we can still now uh, what do we do? I've forgotten which way we slide them that way. There we are. We can open these bays up and uh, that's going to work very nicely. So I must now connect in the uh, SATA connectors and the power connectors and via the uh, wonderful magic of filmmaking, everything now is all in place and my cables are as neat as they're going to get. My cable management is getting better in this PC, but it's got worse again by fitting all these new wires. Anyway, that's now all in place. So I should be able to take my uh, SSD and to insert it in the front of this machine. So uh, here we go. I'm having great problems filming this thing because I'm filming black things against black. It's rather tricky, but there we are. I should be able to put my uh, boot drive in the top drawer, top rack, and it'll close like that. That's cool. 
I'm also going to fit in the second bay one of these uh, 750 gigabyte Western Digital drives, one of my many archive backup drives. And on the back of this, you will see, you may be able to say, I have actually fitted their, um, what do they call it, their drive protecting plastic stuff. Drive protection film. Oh, well, it's written there, if you can see that maybe written on there. Uh, I didn't like the idea of sticking things in my drive initially, but uh, I've discovered doing a quick search around the web, you can get hold of these relatively easily, and they are anti-static, so they're a very good thing to have on the back of your drive. So I can take this drive and also put it into the new bay. Let's drop it in like that. And again, close things up, and oops, all computer moves around, Chris. There we are, and there we are, and that's gone in there. So if we boot things up, we should find we've got two working two and a half inch drives. And with a little bit of jiggery pokery, I can push the button. And yes, the little lights come on. It does seem as if we've made this all work. So I've managed to get two removable bays fitted into this system. Hurrah! For all of us who regularly move around large quantities of data, or who want to regularly change the drives on a PC, Front SATA racks are a fantastic innovation, particularly for two and a half inch drives, because two and a half inch drives are now used also for recording video directly on many systems. So it's great to be able to directly access a two and a half inch drive on the front of a PC. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you see there, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, what should you do? You should subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon. Oh,